all right my dear students the topic that we have for today is inventory valuation now what does inventory valuation actually means uh, whenever we may need to make income statement and sofp we need closing inventory okay we cannot make an income statement or statement of financial position unless we have the figure of closing inventory and how do we value that inventory to value that inventory basically uh, we have uh, learned a concept which is known as prudence concept and what does prudence concept says prudence concept says that inventory shall be valued at lower of cost and net realizable value cost and nrv the value should be lower of both of the values uh, let me first uh, explain you that with the help of an example so whenever we need to value the closing inventory at the end of the year we have basically two values one of which is the cost of the inventory and another one is nrv nrv stand for net realizable value so there are two values one is the cost of the inventory original cost and one is nrv and we need to take lower value from both of these values we need to see which value is lower from both of these values and we would consider that as the value of our closing inventory now the what is cost beta cost means the original price that we have paid when buying that inventory plus any carriage inwards plus any carriage inwards so inventory valuation there is a particular standard on that and that is uh, known as ias2 what is ias international accounting standards these are set of rules and there is a specific standard made for inventory valuation purpose and the number for that particular reference number is is2 so is2 states that any cost that is necessary to bring the inventory in present location or condition should be included in the cost of that particular inventory so if you have bought something for maybe 1000 and we have paid 100 dollar transportation so therefore this inventory now costs us how much 1100 so you must remember that carriage inward is always added in the cost of inventory then we have another item such as nrv what is nrv net realizable value how can we calculate nrv the formula for calculating nrv would be fair value fair value means the current selling price how much uh, this product will fetch if we sell it right now so the current selling price is fair value minus cost to sell cost to sell beta means any cost that is necessary to make the item saleable any cost that is necessary to close the sale known as cost to sell it can be carriage outward carriage outward means delivery cost uh, to the end user okay or maybe packaging cost whenever we need to repack or pack the item so for suitable for delivery the packaging cost is also cost to sell then completion cost if any cost is incomplete and we need to spend some further amount to complete it or make it to the customer's specific requirements then it is completion cost we also need to deduct that or any repair cost if any we need to deduct that as well so current selling price minus all the costs that are, ne that are necessary to make the goods saleable would be cost to sell and then we would get got nrv now let me explain you with the help of an example for example we have a mobile phone shop gadget shop and we have stock of iphone 13 pro max maybe and we have bought the iphone 13 pro max stock for thousand dollar each okay but now with the launching of iphone 14 the 13 uh, actually lost its value okay so maybe previously we used to sell the iphone 13 pro max for 1100 dollars buying it for thousand dollars and making a profit a hundred dollars but now that would not be the case uh, after the launching of uh, iphone 14 now our 13 would actually sell for less amount maybe uh, the current market price is only 850 dollar for i413 okay so we would be uh, selling it for 850 but the stock for iphone that we do have that particular stock uh, the box maybe the uh, original box of the iphone has been damaged uh, maybe due to some water leakage in our uh, uh, 
outlet so therefore now new box need to be ordered from apple uh, company okay so apple company we contacted them and they are asking uh, for 40 dollars maybe for a new box okay we would sell the iphone for 850 dollar with the new box and it would cost us to buy new boxes for 40 dollar so therefore uh, we would only get 810 dollar upon the final sale of those iphones so the iphone originally cost us how much thousand dollar but we would be able to sell it for how much we would be able to sell it for 810 only so the lower price from both of these values cost and nrv would be obviously nrv okay and this is basically the application of what this is application of prudence concept prudence concept states that profit and asset shall not be overstated okay if we are keeping the inventory on 1000 we are basically overstating our assets of inventory uh, by how much by 190 dollar and prudence also says that if there is an any anticipated loss if there is a loss that is going to be uh, incurred in the future that anticipated loss shall be booked immediately okay now as you can see uh, it is anticipated that iPhone would not sell for 1000 or more than that it would actually sell for less so therefore we are anticipating a loss of $190 although loss has not yet been incurred we still have the iPhone in inventory maybe we uh, got a customer who is very fond of iPhone 13 and he has uh, rejected uh, the idea of iPhone 14 altogether okay maybe he's of the opinion or she's of the opinion that iphone 13 is still better uh, in terms of maybe reliability or whatever the quality so uh, they are actually looking for iphone 13 and they uh, got to found uh, that we have particular stock of iphone 13 maybe they are willing to pay us more than one thousand dollars still okay because it is something now that is unique and uh, many people do not hold the stock for that but there are very thin chances of that usually we are more uh, inclined towards the fact that the iphone will not sell for more than 810 for now okay so therefore we are anticipating the loss and we are recording the loss immediately and i uh, the uh, prudence also says that the profit should not be booked unless it is realized so let us change the example a bit uh, this particular iphone that we are talking about iphone 13 maybe the uh, we have bought it from apple and there was a stock clearance going on at the apple and apple also want to get rid of the iphone 13 stock because they have actually launched the 14 so maybe we have uh, bought a whole lot from apple corporation for 750 dollar each so this particular iphone we have got it for 750 and we would be still able to sell it for 810 even after replacement of box now whichever is the lower value now if you see beta the lower value would be 750 okay so now we would be recording the stock at 750 dollar and not 810 dollar why because prudence says that if you are anticipating profit the profit shall not be overstated and it not be booked prior to we have actually earned that profit prior to the profit has actually been realized okay so in that case we are going to book the iphone we would uh, remain we would keep the inventory still at 750 that is original cost so we need to see two costs one is cost and one is nrv and we are usually will 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 be always going for the lower value okay out of these two values